What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video and let's talk about some apps with short tweaks. The first tweak in the list is called Phenomenon which gives you a new redesigned app switcher as you can see here. You have the applications in the left with the card and also the card of the home screen and if you swipe up you will see the control center as well. So as you can see here, if I, if you want to switch between apps, you can do so just by tap on them and you can delete or re remove a specific application just by swiping to the left here. The next tweak is called Olympus, which gives you three pages in the app switcher. So the first one is contains all of your applications that you can switch between from here and also you can resize the, the layout or the cards by pinching your fingers in or out. As you can see here, you can have the old app switcher style and also you can have 2x2 two two layout, 3x3 three three here or you can only display the icons as you can see. And also you can kill all the, all the applications by, by swiping the home card up as you can see. And you can confirm to kill all, all of your applications. The next page here you can see you have the media control. And also you can switch between dark mode or light mode by triple tap. So if I triple tap here you can get to the light mode. And if I triple tap again you will get the dark mode. And you can get, you can get straight to the music library by double tap. As you can see you can get to the, the, the music app as you can see. The third page which contains the, all of your switches and additional ones as you can see you can get the cellular data and you can get here the ba low battery mode that you can enable from here and also the brightness slider that you can control. Lilac combined the control center and the app switcher to have them in one place so you can see here if I swipe up from the bottom you get the con your app switcher and the control center as you can see here with the music control if you swipe and here at the top you can see the airdrop and you can adjust anything from the lilac settings as you can see functionalities here you have the manual if I swipe down it will reveal more menus like respring, reboot or power off your device and if I swipe up the card here, the device will respring. And you can also change the layout of the app switcher. You can get the iOS 7 slash 8 app switcher style, which is the old style. And you can also here change the direction of the app switcher. So for example here it has the left direction and if we change it to the right, we can see took the right direction as you can see and you can also adjust the scale of the cards you can have here small scales and also here the padding the space between the cards you can have them away from each other and you can do much more within the settings of lilac and it set allows you to switch between applications using activated gestures. So you can see here in the settings of the tweak, you can set an activated gesture using activator app from Cydia. I already set a uh, gesture here by double tap on the settings bar. So if I double tap here, you can get access of your applications as well as switches here, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, and all of your switches. And you can see here, you can either tap an application to open it or you can hold, press and hold to interact with your applications from the Aniset menu page here which is pretty awesome so if I tap on it I will get straight to the application which is Twitchbot here so it's a really cool tweak if you want to try a new way to interact with your applications within your iOS device. OXO Legacy gives you the iOS 6 style 
in the app switcher so you can see here we have three pages the switches here that you can tr control and also the media controller and also at your applications so you either swipe up or, or easily tap to open an application so as you can see and you can also swipe down to kill an application or tap and hold to kill all of, all of your applications at the same time there is also a trick that I want to show you which will hide the app preview or the uh, app card it will only display the icons so just press and hold on this heart here and you can see here you can see all only the icons which reminds me the old side which is iOS 6 and below OXO 3 is one of the best and the most popular tweaks for the, for the app switcher so it also combines the control center with the app switcher and also you can see here the control center it gives the control center a shape of the card just like the other app switcher card you can swipe up to kill as usual and you can kill all of your all of your applications just by swiping up on the home screen card and tap on the X button to kill all, the, all of your applications and also with this application you get gestures to the right and also gestures from the left so you can see here if I swipe up from the right you'll get to the home screen and also you can get here a quick switcher to switch between your applications really quick and you can customize everything from OXO 3 settings Tash is an awesome multitasking tweak that allows you to close application by swiping up quick switching between apps lock your device by swiping in the status bar and swipe from the left to the right to switch between apps quickly the last tweak in the list is called switcher pro which allows you to change pretty much anything within the app switcher so you can see here i have the cars or the layout up instead of the instead of stock scroll direction as you can see and you can kill an app by swiping to the left just like that and you can change or customize the layout to your liking by going to the settings of tweak here as you can see I set it to up you can set it to down to have it reversed or flip it to down and you can also have right direction you can see the default you can choose the default switcher page and here at the bottom you can see you can customize the blur the background the blur the page blur and you can hide the labels you can resize the labels and also the opacity and here you can customize the layout of the scrolling and the last one is for additional features and that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did let me know by commenting down below or smash that like button Thank you for watching, now we'll see you in the next one.